Hello and welcome to Online Worship for Aberlour Parish Church this Sunday the 4th of February. As we come to worship today, we take, because it's the first Sunday of the month and a joint all-age service at uh, in-person worship, we take the godly play story, this time coming to the story of the prophet Elijah. Elijah is one of these Old Testament figures whose story seems to be surrounded constantly by big, Uh, momentous, miraculous doings of God, and in particular the God of the people Israel over and above the idolatrous gods like Baal. But at a particularly low ebb in Elijah's life, he looks for God, and God is not found in the big and the miraculous things, but on the side of the mountain, Elijah experiences God like a still, small voice in the quiet. How is it that we come to know of God's presence in our own lives? We'll hear the godly play story and we'll take a time to wonder for ourselves. We take this as time to worship, to know God with us. So let us worship God. Speaking wonders, unmistakable and clear, mighty signs that show your presence, overcoming doubt and fear. Oh Lord, you sometimes speak in wonders. in whispers, still and small and scarcely heard, only those who want to listen catch the all-important word, oh Lord, you sometimes speak in you better when we quietly wait and pray. Oh Lord, you sometimes speak in silence. Lord, you often speak in scripture, words that summon from the Taught us by your spirit with fresh light for every age. Oh Lord, you often speak in scripture. Lord, you always speak in Jesus. Always new yet still the same. More of our Saviour, make our lives display His name. Oh Lord, you always speak in Jesus. This is a godly place story of the prophet. Elijah. The prophets are people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they know exactly what God wants. When the people do not like the message, they often become very angry with the prophet. It's not easy being a prophet. There once was a king called Ahab 
who ruled over Israel. He married a woman called Jezebel, who was from a different land, and she persuaded Ahab to worship her god, a god called Baal. Ahab even built a temple and placed a statue of Baal in it. He told the Israelites to bow down and worship Baal themselves. God sent the prophet Elijah to warn the king that there would be little rain for the next three years because the people were not following God's laws and were worshipping Baal. This made the king very angry and Elijah had to go into hiding. Elijah went to live in the valley of Kerith, where there was a running stream. Morning and night, God sent ravens to feed Elijah with bread and meat. And so with both food and water, Elijah was able to stay alive. Still, there was no rain in the land. So the stream dried up and Elijah journeyed to a town called Zarephath. In Zarephath, Elijah met a woman gathering sticks for a fire. He asked her for a little water and bread. The woman told him that all she had was a little flour and oil to make bread, just enough to feed herself and her son for the last time. Elijah told her to trust in God and that if she fed him with just a small piece of her bread, the family would never go hungry again. The woman did as Elijah asked, and his promise came true. She was able to feed Elijah and her son for many, many days. Three years passed. Elijah returned to speak to King Ahab. But Ahab was still angry with Elijah. But this time he listened, because there had been no rain. Elijah told the king to gather all the priests of Baal. There were 450 of them. The people gathered around and Elijah said, you need to choose. Will you worship Baal or will you worship the one true God? Two altars were built. When everything was ready for the sacrifice, Elijah said, Pray to your God, and I will pray to mine, and we will see which one sends down fire to light the offering. The priests of Baal prayed and prayed all day long for fire to come. They danced around their altar, but nothing happened. Elijah taunted them, Shout louder! Maybe your God is still thinking. Maybe he's just too busy. Perhaps he's on holiday. I know, maybe he's asleep and you need to wake him up. The prophets of Baal shouted louder and louder, but still nothing happened. Then, when it was finally evening, Elijah called the people to him. He placed twelve stones, one for each of the tribes of Israel, around God's altar. He dug a deep trench around it. He prepared the sacrifice. And when everything was ready, water was poured all over the altar. The trench was filled and overflowing. Everything was soaking wet. Then Elijah prayed to God. Fire fell from the heavens and burned up the offering and dried up all the water. Then the people fell on their knees, saying, The Lord is God. Then it began to rain. The king Ahab and his wife Jezebel were now even angrier with Elijah, so he had to run for his life and hide in the holy mountain of God. There he found a cave and went inside to sleep. In the night, he thought he heard God calling to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? Elijah answered, I have done everything you've asked of me, 
But the people do not accept that you are the one true God and they've killed all your prophets. I'm the only one left and they're trying to kill me too. God said, go out, stand on the mountain, I will come to you. A powerful wind blew around the mountain, so strong that it smashed the rocks as it passed, but God was not in the wind. An earthquake shook the ground, shattering it, but God was not in the earthquake. A raging fire came and burned everything in its path, but God was not in the fire. Then there was sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his cape around him and stood at the mouth of the cave. He heard a still, small voice and knew it was God. God told him to go back to the people, so he did. Ahab and Jezebel died, but Elijah was a prophet in the land of Israel for the rest of his days. I wonder, I wonder about this story of Elijah. As the music plays, there are going to be some questions. You can wonder too about these questions or about whatever else you notice and wonder because of the story of Elijah.
So go, to know God as a still, quiet presence in all your life, and the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you this day, and remain with you forevermore. Amen.